buying a fence isn't something that you do every day. So here's a few hints and tips to help you on your way. The panels and screens that we're going to look at are ideal for marking boundaries in front gardens or dividing up your back gardens into room. This is a trade lap panel. It overlaps and that means that the rain runs off it. Also the irregular lines of the horizontal struts give it a kind of rustic feel. It's fully framed and has two vertical buttons, front and back, so it's really, really strong. It's been dip treated for 10 years guarantee against rot, but to keep that guarantee, you have to paint it every couple of years with a suitable paint or preservative. And also you have to have a gravel board and vertical post that have both been pressure treated and they have a 15 year guarantee against rot. The post can be topped with either a cap or a finial. This not only looks attractive, but also keeps the weather off. This comes in four different sizes, six foot wide by six foot tall, five foot tall, four foot tall, or three foot tall like this one. This pale construction fence is also dip treated. It's very, very traditional, perhaps reminds you of New England or somewhere abroad. It's more robust than you would think. Really nice sturdy fence riven on the front so it looks attractive and it allows the light through so you can grow your plants to the other side or perhaps even twine a clematis through it. It's raised just above the ground, just about an inch or so. That means that it can breathe but also it's not touching the ground and not likely to rot. This comes in one single size, six foot by three foot. This screen is called the Hamburg, a very elegant screen with lovely lattice work pressure treated so therefore guaranteed against rot for 15 years and really strong in its construction. It has mortise and tenon joints and it's been rebated so really really strong and also very very smooth, lovely smooth plain timber and I just love the way this rolls. You can imagine the waves going up the garden. It's been used with a gravel board, pressure treated again and guaranteed against rot for 15 years, just raises it up and makes it look really really good. The kind of fence post you'd use with it is different again. It's smooth, plain timber. It's just in keeping with the style and it's been rounded and weathered so you don't need a cap or a finial. The width is 1.8 metres. You can buy it this size at 0.9 or 900 millimetres or go higher up to 1.8. This Prague screen is a style statement, really elegant and yet robust and strong beautiful to have in your garden. It says something about you as a person of style. You can see that it's made of that beautiful smooth plain timber as we've seen before and it just rises and falls again, really beautiful. Could reflect perhaps the surrounding landscape where you live. But one of the great features about it is that it has an integral trellis and that is super. If you've ever tried to put a trellis on top of a fence or anything like that, you know what a faff it is. This just does the job for you. It's a robust construction of these lovely horizontal boards that have been riven too, so it's really strong and tactile. The joints are mortised and tenon, and the whole structure has actually been rebated again for extra strength. It's pressure treated and guaranteed against rot for 15 years, just like the previous one. It's 1.8 metres wide and comes in heights 1.8, 1.5 and 1.2. And finally to the Kyoto. It's been pressure treated, so it saves you time and money. You don't have to paint it at all. Really, really beautiful, this one, elegant, bringing you the style of the East, or perhaps if you look at it in another way, it's a nice contemporary panel. Beautifully smooth, incredibly tactile and robust. This too has mortise and tenon joints, so it's very, very strong, and the horizontal strips have actually been rebated. It's elegance and style itself, all in this one wonderful screen. It comes in two sizes, 1.8 metre wide and 1.2 metres tall and 1.8 metres tall. So now you've seen them all. Which one are you going to choose? Mm -hmm.